You probably can't even tell that I'm not wearing my kimono properly today. <laughs> Honestly, I know that I am very lucky living in Japan and that I can wear kimono daily. And wearing kimono outside of Japan can be very intimidating. This video shall show you a few ways to wear your kimono or kimono items to still give you the kimono-ish feeling, but it doesn't look too much like it. In case you're here for the first time, my name is Billy Matsunaga and I'm a fully trained and licensed kimono teacher and stylist. This question really comes a lot. And yes, I wear kimono daily. Not like really every single day, but five times a week is, I think, my sweet spot. Sometimes a little more, sometimes it's a little less. And I know that I'm very lucky that I can wear kimono that often and also outside of my house without people thinking I am in costume because kimono in Japan is something you can wear daily. Which means this video is for you who is not as lucky as I am and you can't wear kimono every day, although you would love to. So this video shall give you some tips and tricks of how to involve kimono items or kimono themselves in your daily wardrobe without looking too much like wearing a costume. But before we jump into that, I want to announce my participation in the Cocoa 2020. You're hopefully all looking forward to. I am totally looking forward to what all the other costumers are doing. I want to um, share a video with you of how to make a fitting undergarment of a kimono. And on August the 2nd, we're going to have a live panel here on my channel with Sala Okabe, Tia Oguri and Anna Viele. Three gorgeous women living not in Japan and we are going to talk about the confidence to wear kimono. Which leads perfectly in today's topic. The easiest way to kimono a boring outfit like this is wearing a haori. This is one I made by myself of lace and you can find the video of how to make this in the description box below. I basically just throw it on and I make sure that there is some space between my neck and the haori collar and that the collar on the back is folded in half. What I especially love for the colder season is to wear a men's kimono as a long coat. Men's kimono are perfect for that because they are shorter than women's kimono. And you also don't have to leave any space between neck and collar. And you don't have to fold the collar in half so you can just throw it on and wear it as it is. This is one of my favorites, using a skirt of a two-piece kimono raincoat as a skirt. It's basically just a wrapped skirt, but I always try to have a kimono shaped hem. What I love especially about it, it makes the same sound like a kimono when walking. Mm -hmm. 
for this I really recommend you to wear a short dress or a long shirt or at least a leggings under the hakama because of its huge side openings. Besides that you can just put it on starting with the front panel and tying it on the back and then tying the back panel against your waist. On the front I'm pressing like a smaller bow for this style that draws not too much attention onto it but still I want to have an eye catcher on the front. Once I've seen a picture online with this style being combined with a blazer and since then I'm obsessed with this. As long kimono raincoats with a Michiyuki collar are closed on the front, you can wear them easily like a dress. Tie it at your waist to hold the back collar in shape because all kimono items for women are made to wear the back collar lowered. This idea was actually Sala's idea, who will also be on the live panel. And I will link her post how she shows to do this down below. First, I put the collar together and I tie a tie around my waist quite tightly. The trick to get the shape of the bottom skirt is to pull the kimono up at the side seams and back only. When you have a more interesting little dress for wearing under the kimono and you don't mind showing, then you can also play a little more with the shape of the collar. Kimono coats are perfect as a shirt as well because they're closed on the front. Put the coat on. Put the skirt over this. Make sure to have space between back collar and the back of your neck. And done. This is one of my favorite ideas and the one who came up with it is Usaki Komachi. She has a nice tutorial on how to put this style on on her channel. It's in Japanese but you can see the steps more clearly so make sure to check the video out. The trick is to wear your nagojiban short or just to wear a hanjiban. And then you tie the bottom hem of your kimono onto your waist. Then you adjust the collar and hold it in place with another tie. Lastly, you put on a skirt and you're ready to go.
Of course, this video doesn't contain all the ideas of mixing kimono with Western clothing. And when you have more ideas or even when you try some of the things here in this video, make sure to take pictures, post them on Instagram and tag me so I can like and share it. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, leave me a thumb up or a comment. That would really help me out. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more kimono content from a professional kimono teacher, subscribe to this channel and I talk to you in my next video. Bye!